G'day guys, welcome to Rama's Fish Room. So today we're going to move a few flower horns around. Um, I, I haven't selected slash moved flower horns for, around for a while. So basically, um, I just need to keep moving flower horns around just to keep the quality going. And there's some fish that I've selected that I'm not happy with that I'm going to ditch and so on and so forth. It's just a cycle. Um, so let's go have a look at the flower horns I want to move. Alright, so if you look in this tank here, um, if anybody's in Perth and wants either of these two males, hit me up. Uh, so basically I need to get rid of those two ASAP um, to make sure to get this tank to be all the similar size. Um, but anyway, so this tank here, I'm going to pull that fish out. Um, one reason is I don't remember which bloodline it came from, which was yesterday's video was all about. Um, and two, I don't like the shape of it. Uh, it's not a fish I ever want to breed. So if I don't want to breed it, I don't want to sell it either. Um, and then if we come over here, uh, I'm going to take, so this, the, this little girl here, uh, I'm going to throw her up in that tank there. Um, this girl here, I'm going to move over, over yonder, um, over there into a cage. And then there's a girl here which is going to go up there. We can, we can do that straight up. Uh, come on. The problem with the... I, I, I've got to get some small nets, guys. The smallest net I've got is like 20 centimetres across. And these tanks are smaller than 20 centimetres across, or they're not, they're this, they are 20 centimetres across. Look at the mess I've made already. Alright, I'm going to catch her and I'll be back. Alright, so this one here pretty much at this stage, oh, leave her alone. I don't know, she's pretty much, oh, she is a cull. I just threw her up there. That's cold territory. Um, and then this, I kind of want to keep this one. I kind of want to put it up in that cage. Oh, there's a, there's a lid over that cage. All right, I need two hands for that. All right guys, so this girl here, she's, just, <laughs> she's a bit too nice to throw in the community tank. That girl over there that I threw in there, she's been in there a couple of minutes. They're actually leaving her alone. Um, I find when they're a fair bit smaller they fly under the radar and then as they grow a bit that's when they start fighting. Um, then we need to catch this girl here. This girl, this girl is good, like real good. Um, look at her. I know she's dark, she's just laid recently, but if you ignore the colour uh, there's actually a slight fin deformity on her. Oh, that shits me. I wanted to use her as a breeder. Alright, so have a look here, guys. See that top fin? See that deformity there? I don't know if that... It feels it feels really wonky in my fingers. That That can't be a breeder for me, unfortunately. Oh damn, she's such a nice girl too. I don't know what to do now. Nah. So this is how critical I have to be guys. I can't breed it any deformities. Um, that's the hard truth of flower horns. But you just saw me pick out a girl for breeding and then I shut that down real quick because I noticed a deformity. Um, Unfortunately, with flower horns, that's how it is. Uh, next, we need to get this one out. All right, guys, so this one here, um, I'm culling just because of the shape. It's a really long fish. 
and uh, I just know I can do better. Oh, the other problem was I can't remember which bloodline it's from. Um, so this this fish here is actually one of the fish that encouraged the um, labeler yesterday. Uh, every time I try to catch a fish and the camera is recording, I can't catch it. Then I turn the camera off and I catch it straight away. All right, so um, I guess I'll show you because heaps of people ask me about culling. So um, this isn't really a cull point. Um, just see how long it is. Uh, it's, it's really skinny. Um, so there's a, so like um, what happened was I put it in there and it was in tank, in a tank with quite big fish and it actually just, it, it got real thin because um, they kind of get like anxious about being in a tank with the bigger fish. So um, I don't think it's sick, it just, uh, it was hiding in the corner and not, not feeding properly. Um, but yeah, so like for me that really long slim body um, not eating, it's not even worth trying to fatten it up. I've got that many fish to choose from at the moment. Um, the hard truth is the best option is to cull. Alright guys, so I've got a tie silk here. The sex of this fish is going to determine where it goes. Alright, so that's a male. Um, I'm not going to try to show you how to sex on camera. If you want to sex flower horns, your best option is to look up Google Images. Um, so this is a boy, so that's he's going here. Um, basically if it was a girl, it's going up in the community up there, but uh, I do have a subscriber who's interested in a Thai seal. And I was going to offer him the boy up there, but um, these two have had a fight and he's damaged, so I'd rather offer a fish that's much healthier. And I can actually probably offer him that one a bit cheaper. Alright guys, check out this boy here. He's going to be an absolute ripper. I don't know why the camera is, I, don't, I think it doesn't like the low light, but um, anyway, that's that fish. So I've got a bay here, and then I've got two bays over there. Um, I don't know what, to, what fish to select really, they're a bit small still. Um, that guy there looks like, I reckon I'd pull him out, definitely. Alright, that fish is coming out. All right, so at this stage, the only reason I'm selecting this fry is because it's got nice solid white eyes. It's low on script, which disappoints me. I do like nice solid script when they're this size. Um, and the shape doesn't really play a part at this size. It kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. Like I said, guys, I, as soon as the camera's on, I think it's because when the, he was in the net then. Um, when the camera's on, I try to rush. Whereas when, when the camera's off, I just slow down and use my inner zen. There it is. I caught two then. If the other one's white eyed, we'll throw it in one of these bays. Uh, it's not, is that the one? That's the one. It's frustrating. Their eyes go brown when you um, catch them because they get stressed out. Where did the other fish go? Maybe I only caught one. Oh no, it's on the ground. If you're new to the channel, fish on the ground is quite... Oh, that's, that's not a select. Definitely not. I don't know if there's any more selects in there, to be honest. There might be one up there. I'm only selecting white eyes from these batches, guys. So, uh, some of the red eyes might be select, but not select enough. Um, they're all still too small to even start picking at. Oh, actually, that boy should go. I need to label these tanks when I'm done too, because this tank's getting real mixed up with bloodlines now, so 
we're gonna have to um, really think about the labeling. I've got like one, did I show you guys in the video yesterday or the day before? There's like the one flower horn. No idea what bloodline it is, but um, I decided to keep it. Throw it in that tank. I, I don't really think I can ever breed it because I don't know what the parents were. Spewing guys, I lost my filmer. I don't know where she went. Um, chickens are doing well. Uh, all still alive, which is always a good sign. Um, this is going to be a mission. This is going to be an off-camera mission. So this is the first one I've selected. Um, it's a little bit beaky for my liking, um, but I, I don't know if it's just being in a smaller space and um, out of the IBC, it should fill out a bit. Uh, I do notice when they're in the IBCs, they turn, they do look a bit like long boys and then they do get better. Um, I'm really struggling to catch any of these fish, but I'll keep trying. All right guys, so this boy here is gonna be an absolute ripper. Um, it's got the type of pearling and all that that I'm looking for, for the F3 to carry on. Cause um, basically I'm looking for fish that look as close to the dad. And um, I haven't got the dad here anymore. My friend Zach's got it. But the idea is I'm trying to refine the line to look like the dad. Um, that guy just took me way too long to catch, longer than I'm willing to admit but I'm trying to pick the best of the best out of the batch and the only way to do that is to singly choose out the fish. All right guys, I've got an absolute wormhole here. I've started catching the F2. I'm having a really shit time at catching them. Um, I really should put my fish trap in there, but um, yeah, I don't know where the fish trap is to be honest. But anyway, I'm gonna drain this a bit and um, I don't want to go lower than that filter there, but because um, I don't want to break the cycle of this tank. But the problem is I'm getting the nets to the top and they're getting out before I can lift the net high enough to get the fish out. So I'll check back in shortly. All right, guys, I went to town. Um, in hindsight, I should have taken the filter out. I've only ever taken the flower horns out of this tank once before, and I took that filter out. Doing it without that is definitely um, not what I want to do in the future. All right, so if you look here, there's one main takeaway I want you guys to have from here. Look how uniform all these, the selects look that I've picked out. Um, see the solid pearling? Um, I didn't really cull the shape. I just um, selected the full pearling. So see how like, the fish that I've selected all look like they're related. Um, so like, it just means we've got, um, we're starting to refine the line. See if we can do this without opening that lid. So they're going in there. Um, I'm actually thinking, I wanna find my fish trap and set it up on this tank because anything small enough to fit in the fish trap at this stage is pretty much a cull. Oh no guys, I dug it out and the fishing rod for the fish trap snapped. I kind of realized it doesn't need to be on a fishing rod, but we're gonna put it back on the, this little half of the fishing rod. I'm spewing. This fishing rod was for um, feral fish catching. I was gonna go catch some Brazilianses and I literally thought about it yesterday and trying to hit up the channel and seeing if anybody wants to go do it with me. And I need to get a new fishing rod now to do it. Unless I just cut this down to that length and that should be enough to cast. All right, guys, to finish the video off, let's set the owl. I'm gonna drop the fish trap in here. We'll release a fair bit of line. Oh, sorry you guys didn't see there, but basically we've got our fishing rod. We've got the fish trap. Um, there's an old video on my fish trap if you're interested. Uh, I don't really think I'll make one today. Basically, it should take a while to sink, but get that line down. So the idea here is anything small enough to fit in that Coke bottle lid now is a cull because it's too small. Um, and then we've got our culls up there just chilling. Turns out these guys aren't that interested. Um, 
Oh, the Garami just attacked the Oscar. But um, I didn't throw them all in here. I threw some in a different tank because I don't want to crash the tank. There's definitely way more than I expected. Well, not really. Generally, when I cull flower horns, I only keep 5% of the batch. And I definitely kept more than 5% then, so it's more than expected, really. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up there, guys. I'm going to close the shed up. I might stay up tonight, play video games. I haven't stayed up late and played video games probably since I had a baby. Um, but, uh, yeah, sorry if this video is really long. If you made it to the end, congratulations. I actually don't know how long it is, but it took me hours to film it. So I'm presuming that it's a long video. Um, so basically what happens now, that IBC is empty. Um, I, I, I'm going to come in tomorrow and double check that it's empty because what can happen is the fish can wedge themselves in the drain hole at the bottom and even though I stuck a bit of PVC in there, shook it around, there's still a chance that a fish got comfortable in there. So um, basically what I do is I just wait a couple of days. The fish are going to be f that are going in there, um, there's nothing harming them by sitting in the in the tub for an extra day or two but remember right if there's one left in there um it's going to wipe the whole batch out one fish it'll kill the whole batch and then it'll probably get bloat and die so um that batch is so bloody valuable to me so making sure that there is zero fish in there is the utmost importance um if you like this video give us a thumbs up if you want to subscribe for more hit that little red button i'll see you guys tomorrow Peace out.